Hello and welcome back to part 2 of the shoot mechanic tutorial. In the last part we created the spore mechanic for the bullets. If you haven't watched that the link for that will be in the description below. In this video we're going to make the bullets shoot forward. Don't forget the project is also available on github. The link for that will be in the description below. The difficulty for today's video is going to be the fluffy difficulty so it won't be that hard to do. For today's video we're going to be using unity version 2017.2. The asset pack we're using in today's video is our very own spaceship pack. The link for that will be in the description below as well as our other asset packs. So to make the mullets shoot off into the distance we are going to create another script. So I'm going to go to scripts folder, I'm going to right click, go to create, C shop script and I'm going to call it bullets underscore controller. I'm going to add the script to the bullet and to make the bullet fire off into the distance we're also going to need a rigid body so add component physics and rigid body i'm going to freeze the y position and also turn gravity off so i'm going to apply those changes open up our bullet controller script get rid of all this and to make the bullet fire off we're going to need a speed for the bullet so i'm going to create a public float I'm going to call it bullet speed and I'm going to create the start function so void start and just like our ship controller I'm going to use the rigid body and add velocity to the bullet so I'm going to do transform dot get component rigid body brackets dot velocity and that's going to be equal to transform dot forward times bullet speed so if we save the script there, go back to Unity, so we've created the bullet script and to make the bullets not interact with the ship, I'm going to open up the ship controller, go down to our fire mechanic and what I want to do is set each bullet to ignore our ship's collider. So I'm going to create a collider array because we've got multiple colliders. So collider, square brackets. And that's going to be our ship colliders and that's going to be equal to transform dot get components in children so we're getting multiple components in our child objects and we want to get the colliders brackets and semicolon so in our for statement we're going to create another for statement within it so for this time we're going to call our integer x so int x is equal to zero semicolon x is less than and we want to set it to be less than the amount of colliders we have so we do ship colliders dot length so it's semicolon and x plus plus curly brackets so to set our bullets to not collide with the ship we first need to make it so we can access the bullet objects so we do game object and we're going to call it bullet clone equals instantiate bullet etc so now we can access our bullets objects we're going to do physics dot ignore collisions and in brackets we're going to do our bullet clone dot transform dot get component brackets and we want to get our collider brackets comma and we want to ignore our ship colliders square brackets and we want to ignore each one so we do x and semicolon so if we save our script go back to unity test our game you'll notice our ships that shouldn't be happening um go back to the ship controller ah okay we forgot to reset our next fire. So we do next fire is equal to one divided by fire rate. There you go. So if we save that, go back to Unity, test our game. There we go. And you'll also notice that our ship's now ignoring the bullets. Before the video ends, I'd just like to give a special thanks to the artist behind our asset packs, Julian. You can find him on Instagram at woo.ju.digital. 
So that's all we've got for this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Unity 3D. For updates on our asset packs and videos, don't forget to hit that notification bell and also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. For a more behind the scenes look into what we do, you can also follow us on Instagram. Links for those will be in the description below. My name is Joshua Mutu and thanks for watching.